Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about migrating databases with Azure Database Migration Service. The migration service provides two different types to migrate SQL Server databases, offline migration or online migration. An offline migration requires shutting down the server at the start of the migration which means downtime for the service. An online migration uses a continuous synchronization of live data, allowing a cutover to Azure Replica database at any time. The online option is the better of the two if you need to minimize downtime for your workload. An Azure Data Migration Service has two pricing tiers, Standard and Premium. Standard only supports offline migration and there is no charge to use this tier. And the premium supports both offline and online migration. And there is no charge for the first six months. And after that period, you will inquire charges. And these relational database can be migrated to a number of different destinations in Azure. You can migrate to a single Azure SQL database instance or Azure SQL database managed instance or SQL server on an Azure virtual machine or Azure SQL Database for MySQL, or Azure Database for Postgres SQL and Azure Cosmos DB as well. The Database Migration Assistant guides you through the process of migrating databases. You take an existing relational database, split out the database schemas, and then recreate them in the destination Azure SQL Database instance. With the new schema in place, the data for each database can be then copied to Azure. For both offline and online migration, you have same prerequisite task. The prerequisite include downloading the data migration assistant, creating an Azure virtual network instance, configuring the network security group, configuring the Windows firewall, and configuring the credentials. And finally, you need to provision your target database in Azure as well. The next step is to assess the on premises databases. Ensure that all communication ports are open and check the connectivity between the source and destination servers before the migration task begin. Using the Data Migration Assistant, create an assessment project and give the project a name and select the source and target servers and provide the connection details for the source server including credentials with permission to access it. And on the database selection screen, Choose the database you want to migrate. And finally, migrate the data with the DMS service. In the Azure portal, you just need to follow these steps to create the instance of the data migration service and then run it to migrate your data in your database. And when these steps are complete, your schema and data have been migrated to Azure SQL database instance. And you can then shut down and decommission your on-premises database and servers. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about tips for I am. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.